G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and I'm working here with a yearling filly that I've been working with for a while. Uh, back at, a friend of mine, Becca Tate, and I did all the initial halter, you know, the groundwork with her when she was still a weanling. And she hasn't, I mean, we haven't done a whole lot with her, but everything we've done with her has been more about connecting with her than teaching to be obedient and do what we said. You know, it's all about having her attention like this and I just came over to me she's over at a friend's place a friend of mine owns her we just come over to mess with her today and I had the halt a bit before I caught her I thought I'd try something and I'm like oh my goodness that's never happened before so in the past I've done a lot of what I would call hooking on with horses in a round pen which means the you know you're in a round pen if they leave you you put a bit of pressure on them have them move their feet until they're looking for a place to rest and you offer them that place to rest and you become a good place because you're the place of rest but it's not necessarily a place of connection it's just a place of rest and that's kind of how you build your connection it's building the connection kind of through getting the rest but with her it's all been about connection so i'll see if i can repeat what i just did a second ago i've never done this before so we have a go around me if you have a look at the shape of her body going around me, she's going around with a bend in her body. And see her inside hind foot stepping up underneath right there? What a good little girl you are. And so, I always used to tell people, yeah, you can't do the hooking on without the round pen, but I really think you can't do the hooking on without the round pen if you don't have connection. If you have connection, you don't need a round pen. I mean, this thing is a whole lot bigger than the size circle she just did. What a good girl. This thing here is a whole lot bigger than the size circle she just did. She could run up the other end there if she wants to. And she didn't, and she had that perfect bend in her body. And what I've come to realize is, anytime your horse doesn't have a perfect bend in their body, if their head's bent to the outside, it's because they're mentally disconnected from you. So it's, it's just so important. If you can get this connection stuff working, a lot of the other things that I used to teach a horse, you know, like I used to teach a horse to do that, and it took a long time to teach him to do that. That's the first time she's ever done that. Hey, sweetheart. That's the first time I've ever tried that, and it, uh, it worked perfectly well. So if you think about it, just, you know, that's what I'm on about these days, is I'm really on about the connection more so than the training and the obedience like I used to be. But I found <laughs> it's easier than what I used to do anyway. So anyway, that's the importance of having that can that mental connection and that and that and that um attention of your horse if you can have their attention and not you know not give them a reason to take their attention off you not give them a reason to disconnect from you you can get all sorts of cool stuff done